This week, we eat our fill at Voodoo Donuts. Then we celebrate Animal Kingdom's 20th anniversary. Plus the latest theme park news and more, coming at you from the attraction studio at Give Kids the World, right, right now. now. Welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Elisa. And I'm Quinn. Quinn, have you started playing the Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery game yet? I haven't yet. I'm going to start right after this. Yes. So <laughs> obviously I just downloaded it this morning. I played it, you know, on my way over here. Mm -hmm. But it is, it's really fun. I like it. You can be a witch or wizard. Mm -hmm. It also takes place in the past, like while Harry Potter's a baby, the boy who mm -hmm. lived happened, but he's too young to come to Hogwarts. I won't right. give away anything else, but it's a really fun game. I think I'll get a little obsessed with it. <laughs> yeah, I know you can, you can choose your house. Did you, what I did. house? I did. I'm a Huffle Puff. Okay, I'm gonna choose Ravenclaw because I'm Ravenclaw. So. <laughs> well, y you know, the Sorting Hat still chooses the house mm -hmm. for you. It just doesn't? asks where you hope to be placed. Really? Yeah. Mm. But it's if it, it doesn't, I'm gonna delete the app and then restart. I'm so. pretty sure it, it gives you what you hope to be okay. placed in, but it's still showing the effect that it chooses for okay. you. But uh, super, super fun game. Definitely download it uh, if you're a Harry Potter fan. What mm -hmm. else is going on? Well, uh, we actually have our new mystery merch boxes out now, our attractions mystery merch. Cool. We have different things every week, you know, like different things we got maybe at the parks or at a media event or each one is about $35, including shipping. Um, so, you know, like, like you just, you can get some fun things that you might not be able to get on retail or mm -hmm. anywhere else, you know? That sounds really cool. Mm -hmm. Like, how how many things usually come per box? Well, it, it depends on the the value, really. Okay. You know, I, I did pack up some of them myself. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's it's just like if if one of the boxes had a uh, a bust of Elsa that we got at nice. um, at the when the ride opened, I yeah. assume. I, I'm not sure exactly which media event. Yeah. And then so that that one was worth obviously a little bit more. So there was a little bit less besides the bust, and then. It's really just how much we could fit in the boxes, how much worth it has, you know. Cool. So media event things, mm -hmm. merchandise, random attractions, theme park stuff. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a fun box I would like to receive every month. So definitely, if you'd like to order the merch box, like Quinn said, $35 with yep. shipping. So definitely really cool. All right, let's get to some news in the queue right after this. While it may seem far away now, the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot is coming soon. Thanks to MEI, you can save money on your stay, allowing you some extra dough for delicious food and drink pairings. For less than $240 a person, you can stay at a Disney Valley Resort for four consecutive nights. Let Disney do their magic and the driving while you focus on the drinks and treats. For a free quote with no obligation, visit meitravel.com. This week we cover Animal Kingdom's 20th anniversary, so how about some great ticket deals you can use to come and celebrate? Undercover Tourist is offering four days of tickets to Walt Disney World for $42 less than gate prices. Use the extra money for souvenir keepsakes, or perhaps try the commemorative dessert option. For the best ticket deals, visit UndercoverTourist.com. This week in a surprise move, Universal Orlando opened the Fast and Furious Supercharged Attraction. Guests can now join the Fast family in this action-packed attraction. The queue is stocked with authentic Fast and Furious prop cars, including a new vehicle designed for the ride. The attraction also features a virtual line system, allowing guests to assign themselves a return time for minimum or no wait. There's also a single rider line and express. A commemorative ride opening will also occur on May 2nd, so keep an eye on our coverage for that of that special event. I woke up and it was like, surprise, <laughs> we're open. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the, the soft openings have already been happening, so. I know, but it wasn't supposed to officially yeah, open that's until true. May 3rd. That is true. So it just kind of took us here. by surprise, unlike Skull Island Reign of Kong that mm -hmm. opened a little late. Yeah. This took us by surprise and opened a little early. So, I mean, it's cool. Yeah, I hope it, I hope this trend continues of attractions opening early, you know, mm -hmm. just like, can we just open Toy Story? Let's open Star Wars. Let's just... <laughs> right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite ready for that yet. Um, but yeah, Fast and Furious, pretty cool ride. It's mm -hmm. open. I heard there might be some celebrities at the May 2nd event. Okay. Not sure who yet. Mm. Yeah, that's a, that's a good reason 
to keep an eye out. I would definitely be there if The Rock was there. Just definitely. Saying. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> now down the street, Disney is preparing for the upcoming Toy Story Land with new operation procedures. Disney's Hollywood Studios will be open from 8 a.m. to 10:30 p.m. starting July 1st for a limited time. Guests staying at Disney hotels will also be able to take advantage of extra magic hours, early admission at 7 a.m. every single morning. Guests staying at Disney hotels can also now make their Fast Pass Plus reservations for the new Toy Story attractions. The new system will also work in tiers, only allowing one Toy Story Fast Pass Plus selection at a time, but guests can use the other two options for rides like Rock and Roller Coaster or the Tower of Terror. That seems really cool, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, since, since um, Hollywood Studios is a little smaller right now mm -hmm. until Star Wars and Toy Story opens, it's, it probably doesn't take that much time to do everything in the park, but now, now you have the option to just relax, you can, you know, yeah. just take some time. You know. yeah. I, I definitely understand. I see where they're coming from with this mm -hmm. tier procedure, and I'm okay with it too because while you can only have one Toy Story attraction, at, at least you're not, you know, um, compensating that for Toy um, Sorry, Rock and Roller Coaster mm -hmm. or Tower Terror yeah. because those are still amazing attractions, and if they were mm -hmm. in the same tier, that would that would be upsetting. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm excited for Toy Story Land to open. Oh yeah, you got plenty of time, 8 a.m. to 10:30 p.m. <laughs> or 7 a.m. if you're an early bird and you're staying at a hotel. So that's exciting. Next, we head to the Mall of America for their upcoming Paw Patrol play area attraction. This new kids zone will feature play area sets from the Nickelodeon kids show Paw Patrol. Are you a Paw Patrol fan, Quinn? I have never seen an episode of Paw Patrol. <laughs> I haven't either, but I know a lot of little kids mm -hmm. that are borderline obsessed with mm -hmm. Paw Patrol. Oh, definitely. I know uh, Banks' little girl, Spencer, she loves Paw Patrol. Spencer loves yeah. Paw Patrol. Uh, just so many little children love Paw Patrol, so mm -hmm. this is so exciting. This is, you know, like a little child's dream come true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, definitely. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. And now SeaWorld is bringing back a special weekend event just for kids. The Just for Kids weekend has been on hiatus since 2014, but will be returning on Saturdays and Sundays, May 5th through May 13th. During this event, kids and families alike can attend Elmo Rocks, a kid-friendly rock concert hosted by Elmo and his Sesame Street friends. Children can also dance along with Elmo and friends at the kids' dance party. Other events include kid concerts at 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. each day. There will also be a separately ticketed event, Breakfast, with Elmo and friends. I'm so excited! I know this sounds super nerdy, but I <laughs> love Just for Kids and I love every chance that SeaWorld has Sesame Street character friends because that's where I my heart used to be and where <laughs> I used to work. So I can't wait. Elmo Rock is my favorite show that SeaWorld puts on mm. as far as Sesame Street goes. So I can't I wait. I don't think I've ever seen Elmo Rocks. No. Or, or is it Elmo Rocks? Elmo okay, Rocks. Yeah. It was only there for a few years. So All it's right. pretty exciting that maybe, it's coming Maybe back. when the land opens in the far future <laughs> from now, you know, uh, yeah, they'll have Elmo Rocks true. permanently. I hope so, because it's so freaking cute, and Just for Kids is such a fun event for children. I mean, Elmo is still a rock star to all of them, which is just so exciting. Yeah. I love it. Now we end our News in the Queue segment with some sad news about the passing of Give Kids the World Village founder, Henry Landworth. We literally would not be sitting where we are, we are today if it were not for the man who set out to make sure a child's dying wish would never go unfulfilled. In 1989, Henry opened Give Kids the World Village, a place for families with terminally ill children to come and make memories. Since the time of opening, the village has more than doubled in size and has given countless families and their children a week to never forget. So obviously we are filming here now at Give Kids the World Village, mm -hmm. so hearing of this news, it hits home for us and it's really, really quite sad. But at the same time, it's absolutely incredible to see the legacy that mm -hmm. this man has fulfilled and that even though he's gone, his legacy is going to continue to be fulfilled and Give Kids World Village just grows more and more every single day. So it's really amazing to see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, each week just more and more families and kids mm -hmm. just living their dreams. Absolutely. Hi everybody. This week, let's go back to the studios to Star Tours, the adventures continue. At the end of the Star Tours ride, there are four classic hidden Mickeys in the Coruscant landing sequence, which is one of three different and random end destinations for the ride. After the Star Tours vehicle crash lands on the platform and is lowered below into the hangar, 
Look for four recessed panels in the top half of the back wall of the hanger. A classic Mickey is in the center of each panel. To see them, focus on the background wall instead of the droid in the foreground that's flying around with the two light batons. Have fun! Well, it's official. Animal Kingdom is officially 20 years old. You are right, and throughout those years, so much has happened. Mountains have begun to float, mm -hmm. a Yeti has become a permanent resident, the rivers illuminate with light, and the park's iconic tree springs to life every night. With so much to celebrate, it seems like the 20th birthday is going to be wild. See, see what I did? Yeah, 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 but we'll truly see what's happening when this segment begins, shall we? Of course. Take it away, Banks. I am here at Disney's Animal Kingdom where the park is celebrating its 20th anniversary, Earth Day, April 22nd. Now, my first visit was almost 20 years ago in 1999, and so much has been added and changed since then. We are going to check out the special anniversary celebration. There's a brand new Up Bird show. We're going to go behind the scenes at Rafiki's Planet Watch, and I hear there's even something new over in Pandora. So let's go check it all out. So it wouldn't be a Disney Park anniversary celebration without a special guide map that you can pick up day of. So this is the anniversary for Animal Kingdom 20 and inside here they show you where you can get your merchandise, your special food and beverage and then of course when you open it up here there's the park map with everything and then here special timeline showcasing everything that has happened in the park major for the past 20 years. So it's a nice little keepsake that you can get for free. Hi there. <gasps> oh my, you can talk? Say, have any of you ever had a great bird adventure before? We did, we did. And now we're ready for our next bird adventure. Well, great, I think we all are. Are you all ready to meet the birds that call this place home? You can do it, Miles. <gasps> nice job. Come on, Sonny, you can do it. Come on, Sonny. There's good stuff <gasps> over here, that's nice. So close. <laughs> Oh, Groucho, she said hello. Can you say hello? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's Victoria. She's an African fish eagle, also known as the voice of Africa. And watch. She's even bigger when she flies. Here oh, we go. Can't you imagine them flying over the plains of Africa? <gasps> I like the birdies. Mm -hmm. Hey, do one of you guys want to try to feed Fraser? He really goes gaga for bird seed. I, I love chicken birdies. The wilderness I love them. must be explored. Bye. All right, so I got some sample sizes of some of the offerings that are going to be available during the Party for the Planet here at Animal Kingdom in the next couple weeks. This is called the Impossible Burger. It is a burger made entirely out of plants. So I'm going to try this out. That's excellent. If you didn't know it was just plants and one meat, you wouldn't tell the difference. You gotta have dessert as well. And they got some really awesome cupcakes available here. This is many, many versions of those. You see the um, globe right there. It's really cool. Mmm. 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 Delicious. Delicious. 
And now, this little tree of life right here. Mm. So good. So I got a little something on here? I got something right there. And a little something? Yeah, just a little I got it? Yeah. Okay, go. Cool. Yeah. So we're now on our way over to Rafiki's Planet Watch. I love this area of the park. Not a lot of people actually come back here. And we're going to go and get a behind-the-scenes look at how they take care of the animals here at the park. I'm very excited. You just saw the ostriches over there right here behind Kilimanjaro Safari. This is always a fun way to get a look behind the scenes. All right, so just got back from that behind-the-scenes tour here at Rafiki's Planet Watch. Unfortunately, photos and videos are not allowed in these backstage areas. But the good news is you can take this tour yourself. It's a free tour. We offer daily until May 5th here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Reservations are on a first-come, first-served basis here at Rafiki's itself, so make sure you hop that first train after the park opens. Come sign up. 20 years of Animal Kingdom. It's flown by. I remember my first visit being in 1999. What is one of your favorite memories from the past 20 years of this park? Favorite memories? Well, I have the, the honor and the privilege of leading our animal team, and there's choosing a favorite memory about our animals like choosing your favorite <laughs> child. Um, but just a recent example, the birth of our two cubs, Jetta and Anala. We're so proud of not only the care that we provide for the animals like our tigers, Jetta and Anala here, but also the fact that we can make a difference for tigers in the wild and really help to reverse the decline of that species out in the world. My favorite memory is I'm a big outdoors adventure guy. So I uh, did my first mountain climbing experience. I did the Seven Summits. Mm -hmm. My first one was Kilimanjaro. And after I climbed Kilimanjaro, I had a chance to do safari. I came back here and I thought, oh my God, this is exactly, I saw the exact same tree, the exact same animal. It was amazing how well. And I, I, I got a greater appreciation after I went and saw uh, a safari in, in Africa. You know, it's been an amazing 20 years, but I remember when the elephants came into their area for the first time, and I was standing with our horticulture folks who had just spent all this time and energy planting this beautiful area, and the elephants came in, and they were so excited because they were just, like, pulling up the grasses and eating the grasses and walking around, and it was just so thrilling to see all of the animals starting to come out and experience the amazing savanna that we've created here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. You know, I think I would say there's so many, but one of my favorites was when we celebrated the 10th anniversary of the Disney Conservation Fund. And at that point, we were celebrating 10 million to conservation, and now we're at 20 and we're celebrating 70 million for conservation. So we've definitely grown in a short amount of time, but we had the opportunity to recognize some conservation superstars like Dr. Jane Goodall and Dr. Ian Douglas Hamilton for all the incredible things that they've done for wildlife around the world. So it was a very special moment. And speaking of the, the Conservation Fund, how can guests get involved with that when they come visit the park? Oh, it's super easy. First of all, so a lot of the merchandise that we have here, including some of our 20th anniversary merchandise, does benefit the fund. They can go on some of our fantastic guest experiences, so caring for giants or Wild Africa Trek. Um, those experiences have a benefit to the fund, too. They can also visit one of our fantastic cast members working in our merchandise and food and beverage locations and make a contribution to the fund and get this fantastic button that we're all wearing. Well, some of us are wearing. Well, it's, it's got that logo on it, but anyway. So, you know, lots of great ways for them to engage, and our guests have been critical and us saving wildlife around the world for many years. Now, when guests come and visit Animal Kingdom, obviously they want to see the whole park, but where it was one thing, one detail, one area they cannot absolutely miss. Oh, oh my gosh, there's so many things to not miss. There's lots of just beautiful little tiny, tiny details that are really, really true mm -hmm. in the park, if that's what you're talking about. Then I think when you're in the queue for Expedition Everest, and you go through into that little, it's like a little shop, uh, uh, Tashi's Trek and Tongba shop. Mm -hmm. That little shop is perfect. It is like you are in Nepal. There is nothing that is not like you've been transported into some little tiny shop in the mountains in Nepal. 
is a great little moment. So that's it for us here at the 20th anniversary of Disney's Animal Kingdom. Now the anniversary celebration may be over, but the party for the planet is still going on until May 5th. Go to our website, attractionsmagazine.com, for more details about that. As for me, I am ready to celebrate the 30th of Disney's Hollywood Studios next May, so I'll see you then. What I love most about travel is the perspective that it gives me. It's just getting a chance to see other parts of the world and other types of people and other lifestyles. I like to say it's the difference between information and expertise. Anybody can do an, an internet search and come up with lots of information. Having somebody that has been there and done that and probably bought the t-shirt and really can speak to it with authority is the big difference. MEI and Mouse Fan Travel is your expert source for no-fee travel planning. Visit mei-travel.com for a no-obligation quote today. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. Donut huzzah, donut he see, make the black magic bring a donut to me. What are you doing? Oh, well, I'm summoning black magic for this segment, Quinn. We need a special magic for voodoo donut. And I really don't think you understand what voodoo donuts is. You know, what, why don't we just throw it over to Mike so he can show you? Fine, but if you are wrong and stop me mid-donut spell, I will put a hex on you. Okay, someone's a little hangry. Mm, yeah, probably shouldn't have missed breakfast today. What's up everybody, Mike Kerrigan here with Attractus Magazine here at Universal City Walk at the new Voodoo Donuts location. Now here they have a wide assortment of donuts and I hear they're pretty darn delicious. And as you can tell, I'm a fan of the donuts, so this is pretty exciting for me. a venue that was created, a, a, a concept that was created in Portland, Oregon by two gentlemen. Uh, one's name is Trey Shannon and the other gentleman's name is uh, Cat Daddy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, they created this fun place for people to go. They didn't really know much about donuts, so they met with some donut experts. A fun place for people to go and have donuts and either get their bellies filled on their way to work or on their way out of the clubs at, the, at night. Um, and they started with one location in Portland, Oregon, uh, and uh, it just has ventured on to then to eight locations, us being the last one here at Universal Orlando. Wow, uh, now you said they didn't know a whole lot about donuts. Right. And for someone that doesn't know a lot about donuts, there, there's a, a great assortment of donuts here. What can you tell us about some of the donuts that they have? There are 53 donuts here. Wow. Uh, they are premium donuts. Um, we have different types that are yeast donuts, we have uh, cake donuts, and we even have a collection of vegan donuts. Awesome. Here. Awesome. Now uh, I see uh, they have the, the, the voodoo doll donut, they have uh, what was it? It has Fruit Loops on Captain Crunch, and wh yes. wh what's your favorite to try here? My favorite donut from the very beginning has been uh, the Memphis Mafia uh, for two reasons. It's one of our fritter donuts, okay. uh, bananas, peanut butter, and chocolate. Uh, very large donut, and it is fondly named after the Memphis Mafia, Elvis's bodyguards. Awesome. As we were talking about earlier, you can tell once you walk in the Voodoo Donuts, it has that really original feel to it. As you can see behind us, on the wall behind me, it's uh, all about Portland. You can see the zip code up there, you can see all kinds of artists from Portland up on the wall. Up here on the right here of this mural, if you notice, all of it is done by duct tape. It took me a little bit to notice, but yeah, it's all totally duct tape further up above the cash registers and whatnot, you'll see that every single Voodoo location has its own spirit channeler based off of original artists around the same area. Ours, for instance, from Orlando is Carrot Top. And here behind me on the stained glass windows, you'll notice on the left and the right is the owners of Voodoo Donuts in the middle, followed by their uh, original CEO. And 
they say that good things come in pink boxes, and that's what we're going to get with the Fryer Flyer Dozen. I'm hearing that there's lots of good donuts in here. Let's pick out a few. Oh, man. So we're going to choose three of these, but we have to start with the Voodoo Doll, right? It's, it's like their premier donut. We have to try this one. Now, the Voodoo Doll is a raised yeast donut filled with raspberry jelly, chocolate frosting, and of course, you notice this pretzel steak right through his heart. We're just going to go right after the head, I think. Mm-hmm, that was really good. Now, if you want to go just for like a really good donut, it's, it's, it's basic, but it's different all at the same time. You got the chocolate frosting with the jelly filling inside, and of course, pretzels don't hurt either. All right, next up is gonna be the ODB. It's a raised yeast donut with chocolate frosting, Oreo cookies, and peanut butter. <laughs> My 10-year-old self is going crazy over this one. This one's a little messy, but really good. Next up on the list is the bacon maple bar. Raised yeast donut with maple frosting and bacon on the top. There's bacon on a donut! Bacon! Can I divorce my wife and, or and marry a bacon, maple bacon donut? This is heaven. And next up on the list is the Great Ape. It's a raisiest donut with vanilla frosting, grape dust, and lavender sprinkles. Now, I'm sure you've seen, I'm a huge Orlando City nut. So it's purple. It's, it's gonna be great, right? It's like a great pixie stick in my mouth. It's amazing. The Voodoo Donuts is open each and every day here at Universal City Walk at Universal Orlando Resort. I highly recommend it. I just don't recommend eating the entire box of donuts. Unless you're ready for that donut coma. Back to you guys. downloaded our free attractions magazine app it features news articles as well as every issue of our magazine available right in the app plus catch up on all episodes of the show and even view all of our online videos in one place download the app for free in the app store today Now, before we get to shout outs, we have a special giveaway this week. That's right. We have this Avengers Infinity War Magic Band. And let's see. Oop, open if I can her get up. it open. There we go. It's, there's only 3,000 of them. So they're, they may or may not be sold out already because I know they're insanely popular, even yeah. though the movie isn't out yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. And here it has Thanos on this side. And on this side, it has the Infinity Gauntlet with all the little Infinity Stones. And uh, do you want to tell everyone how to get it? To enter to win, head to attractionsmagazine.com slash the show and click on this episode, then scroll down for the full entry details and rules. We have multiple ways for you to enter and you have two weeks to get all your entries in. Good luck everyone. This week's birthday shout outs go out to Pippa Clayton, Alan Delinka, Eric Yates, Stacey Frost, and Jack Krause. Happy birthday everyone. Are you a subscriber to our magazine, whether it be print or digital? If not, you should certainly check it out. Four times a year, our fact-filled magazines are sent to fans all over the world. These magazines include articles on new attractions, in-depth interviews, and lots of other theme park-driven content. Plus, if you sign up soon, you will be among the first to read our new summer issue when it comes out in June. To learn more and sign up, check out attractionsmagazine.com. And now we want to thank MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for cruises, Disney, Universal, and Adventures by Disney. For a free quote with no obligation, visit meitravel.com. And thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. Give Kids the World Village is an 84-acre nonprofit resort in Central Florida that provides week-long, cost-free vacations to children with life-threatening illnesses and their families. To learn more about how to get involved, please visit gktw.org. All right, so as of today, Avengers Infinity War has premiered. Mm-hmm, I already saw it because I, I, I reviewed it. No spoilers. 
oh well, you I know, it's just that you? this one thing happens, and then another thing happens, and then things oh, happen. Things happen? Yeah. How dare you? The Avengers are in it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Say no more. No, I'm super excited to see it. I can't wait. I haven't gotten my tickets yet, which is probably really bad, but <laughs> oh we're my going gosh, to. Yeah. Well, we have Movie Pass, but at the same time, okay, it's probably true. all sold out today. So we'll see in the next few days, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm really excited. It's a it's a movie. It's it's gonna affect the world. It's it's amazing. Good. I can't wait. What else is going on with you? Oh yes, I'm going to be going on a trip, and I, I realized earlier I said I wanted to go see The Rock if he was here for the opening. Uh, the, the opening ceremony of Fast and Furious, yeah. but I'm not even going to be here. Oh. I'm going to be going to Copenhagen. I'm going to, um, it's called Tivoli Park oh, okay. over there. And then I'm going on a cruise that's going to Norway and Russia. So I'll be vlogging all of that on my Attractions Adventures channel. Just casually going to Norway and Russia. Yeah. No big I mean, deal. Yeah, you know. <laughs> How long are you going to be gone? Uh, about three weeks. Oh so. my goodness. Yeah. Well, we'll miss you, but I'm sure you'll have the time of your life and won't be missing us. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll yeah. miss you. I'll miss you, but also I'll be traveling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no worries. Well, I'm sure, you know, you'll come back with lots of fun stories mm -hmm. to tell And us. then in the meantime, I think uh, Theron and Banks are going to take over for me a little bit. So. Yay, perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun. Play with us, Danny. Forever and ever. You're not saying it. I'm just making a face. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You say the same thing I do. You don't know the line? Come play with us, Danny. We did that already. And now SeaWorld is bringing back a special weekend event just Sorry. for kids. <laughs> <laughs> A kid-friendly rock concert hosted by Elmo and his Sesame Street friends. Oh. Al the, the script, script is was gone. like, nope. <laughs> It like flipped. <laughs> to learn more about how to get involved, please visit G G G K. Oh gosh. Geek. <laughs>